Hi, Jim. How are you? Well, thank you. Thank you. Right over there to the thank front. Thank you, Chair. Chair. Good morning, sir. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. Good morning. How are you? Good morning.
Is that red tie because of the red and the deficit? Thank you all for coming down here this morning. I, seven years ago today, I submitted our economic recovery program, which has resulted in 63 months of economic growth. And today, I'm sending our fiscal year 1989 budget to the Congress. This budget fits within the second year of the bipartisan budget agreement that we reached last November. It also meets the deficit reduction targets of Graham Rudman Hollings, and it contains no increases in taxes. And in this budget, we have increased funding for drug interdiction and treatment, funding for our air sa traffic safety, education, science, and space, and we've increased by 38 percent the level of funding for the fight against AIDS. And while meeting these domestic priorities and our national security needs, this budget does not increase taxes, again, consistent with our budget agreement. And these recommendations to the Congress, uh, along with budget reform proposals, improved government management and continued efforts toward privatization will continue the economic growth that we've all witnessed these past five years. And now I'm hoping we can work together through the budget process this year, sticking to our agreement and completing the appropriations process before the end of this fiscal year. Lights, please. Thank you. Mr. President, are you going to call in Senator Dole and Vice President Bush and give them a little lesson on the 11th Commandment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk about anything but the budget. <laughs> are you pleased about the way the campaign's going on the Republican side at this point? I'm no comments. Sir, is there anything you can do for Colonel Higgins? Why don't they move them out? I and I have to tell you, we're doing everything we can. We're trying to find out as much as we can and, and we'll try to get them located. Certainly, we want to. We want to rescue him. You have a sizable increase in here for education, Mr. President. We want to, you have a sizable increase in this budget for education, and you know, we want to thank you. Some of us who have been fighting for it for many years. Thank you. Thank you, business and we're going to ask Jim there <laughs> thank you uh, Jim Miller here for some remarks about the budget thank you mr. president first of all uh, copies of all of this have been delivered uh, to your office so you if, uh, if you if you don't want to take these copies uh, uh, you surely will have copies back at the office uh, right away uh, I thought I would just address uh, it, it, um, it fulfills the bipartisan budget including that $46 billion deficit reduction that we agreed to uh, last November for fiscal year 1989. It hits the Graham Rubin Hollings target of $136 billion. In fact, the deficit uh, would be $130 billion under our estimate, and it avoids a sequester. It's so nice for you to call. My eyes fill all that important kind of stuff. How are you feeling? I feel much better day by day. Lots of long walks, exercise, and obeying a lot of rules. I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> but they pay off. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. The, the interesting thing to me politically is that uh, uh, the path you took in going from there to here is uh, what I seem to have followed. I think because of you. And uh, it's all changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, wait a minute here. A little, a little souvenir of your coming to the office. Huh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's good to see you. I don't want to keep you. I just did want to get on you one more time. Well, before listen, your time here runs. Well, I'm pleased you did. Thank you. My very best, Mrs. Reagan. Good to see you.
Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Well, now I... 